Hey, what is up guys? Today I'll be reviewing the Pac-Man Connect and Play. Without a doubt, there's tons of plug and play systems out on the market, and for the most part, they're awful. You know what I'm talking about, those bootleg games that claim to have thousands of games in them when in reality, those thousands of games are just clones of one another. So playing this Pac-Man system was truly fun and enjoyable. So starting with the build quality, I believe this system feels decent. All of the controller's parts are made out of plastic, but somehow it feels okay in the hands. The Pac-Man shaped controller isn't the most ergonomic, but it's part of the play and store design. That means that you can use the controller as a decorative piece once you're done playing with friends and family. Now as far as games, this system has 12 classic games, including Pac-Man, Galaga, Xevious, Dig Dug, Rally X, Pac-Pal, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, Mappy, Galactian, and Bosconian. Now I did butcher some of those, but you know what I mean. Now, a very interesting feature is the 256 game mode for Pac-Man. On the back of the box, it says, quote, The Pac-Man Connect and Play video game offers fans the chance to play the coveted level 256. The original arcade game had 256 levels, but due to a programming glitch, level 256 was a half-jumbled screen that only a few people in the world completed. Now players can start at level 255 and perfect their skills to become a master player. So basically, you get to cut to level 255, which probably took someone else days to achieve. I also love how seamlessly the game plays and how seamlessly the interface works. Hopping from game to game is a breeze, and this can be done by simultaneously holding A and B for about 3-4 to four seconds, then it'll return you to the main game screen. Connectivity wise, you're limited just to a yellow and white composite cable. This is my only gripe with the system. It's 2017 and most monitors and TV screens only use HDMI, therefore this Pac-Man game system would have looked better and would have been more compatible with many other displays if it had an HDMI. Also, I'd like to add that the system's composite cable is very short. Thus, if you intend on playing this game in your living room or far away from your display, then you should consider picking up a composite extension cable, which I have linked down below. And another thing that I don't like is the battery. Battery is another issue, which by the way, you'll need four AA batteries to power the system. I personally like using rechargeable batteries because they save you money and time in the long run. Again, all the links are in the description down below. Overall, this Pac-Man game system is phenomenal. It's a great childhood throwback that actually works, and it includes more than just a Pac-Man game. So if you're looking for something affordable to take to a party, or just wanting to have a nice Pac-Man decorative piece that doubles as a fully working Pac-Man game, then this is your best bet. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.